everyone in this video i'm going to show you guys how to make the khala recipe so first of all we're going to put a kilo this is a one bag of flour so a kilo is one bag so as you said put one bag and two cups this is a cup i put two cups of flour a kilo and two cups so now I'm going to put two cups of flour. This is one cup. And this is two cups. Now sometimes when you make it, it maybe needs a teeny bit more flour, but for now you put a kilo and two cups of flour. The next thing you do, you take another bowl and put three and a half cups of warm water. Now, not too cold and not too hot. Okay, so just a minute. So as you see, I've got a bowl, and now I'm going to put a cold cup of water. This is one cup of cold water. Now I'm going to put another cup of cold water. And here is my second cup of cold water. And you just have to make it warm. So I do two cups of cold water, then I do like another one hot, and then another one cold. So we'll see, we just have to see. So now I've got two cold, now I'm gonna put another one cold. So now I'm gonna put another one hot. Another cup of hot water. So here we've got one cup of steaming hot water. Now you just mix it. And then I'm going to put a half a cup of cold water. This is three, and now I need a half. Three and a half cups of warm water. <laughs> now we've got a half a cup of cold water. You just mix it, mix it, and make sure that, that it's warm. Now we're going to take yeast. This is how it looks. Dry yeast. Now we're going to put it in the warm water two tablespoons of dry yeast so this is one tablespoon of dry yeast just put it around and now we we'll put another tablespoon of dry yeast and you just put it in the next thing we're going to put in is three out of four cups of sugar three quarters of sugar so we have got my three quarters of my sugar and I'm going to put it in the yeast this is how it looks and the two tablespoons of yeast this is how it looks it says one tablespoon now you leave it here for 10 minutes but before you leave it there, you have to put one tablespoon in a half of salt. So here I've got one, one and a half tablespoon. This is a half a tablespoon. This is one tablespoon. Now we're going to add it into the yeast. One and a half tablespoons of salt. There's one. Mary Jana Mana, my daughter. Okay. And then we're going to do a half a tablespoon of salt. Now we're going to leave it here for 10 minutes and come back to it when it's ready. It's going to bubble and we'll leave it there for 10 minutes. Now here it looks. Bubbling. And we'll leave it there for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to take a half a cup of oil and not put it in the yeast, put it in the flour. And this is where it is, the flour is here, inside there's only flour, and over here there's the yeast, and we're going to put a half a cup of oil in the flour. You just put it all around. Now the next thing we're going to do is, when it's ready, 10 minutes passed, we're going to put it into the flour. Hi guys, so 10 minutes passed, so you're going to take the yeast and just put it all around. You're going to put it all around in the machine. 
And as you see in here, you see there's some sugar. You just, all the stuff you put, you put it around. Can't really show you because I'm holding the phone and doing it at the same time. Here, you see in here, you just put it all around. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is put the machine on. Let's get started. So now we're going to put the machine on, as you see. And we're going to put it on number one. As you see. <laughs> and you just let it mix for a bit. If you see it's a little gooey as it is, so you just add a teeny bit of more flour. And the next thing we're going to do is put it on number two. Like that, we're going to do stages one, two, three. Now we're going to put it on to number three. And just let it mix for a few minutes. Okay? Let me just show you guys how it looks. It looks quite sticky to me. So you could just add a little bit of more flour. I'll show you guys how much to add. Okay, now I just added another cup of flour. This is how a cup looks. A cup of flour. You just put it in, roll it, put in more and add it. And you keep it running for a few minutes and yeah. Okay, so after you've been mixing it for a few minutes, we're gonna now take the dough out and you should get like a quite big bowl. Not as big, but like something you could put the dough in and let it rise for 45 minutes. So this is how your dough is supposed to look. Really good, soft, not sticky. And yeah, if you find it quite sticky, you could just always add some oil, some flour to make it not be sticky. You could do a cup and a half, because right, I told you guys to add a cup of flour. You could add a cup and a half to make it not be sticky. I usually put a cup and a half. But some people like it sticky and like this. This is quite sticky. So let's just put the machine back on and just add a half a cup of flour. You never know how it comes out. This is the recipe, but sometimes it comes too much sticky, so you could always add flour. It's not bad. Hi guys, so I just added a half a cup of flour. This is how it looks. A half a cup of flour. So far, I did a kilo of flour plus two cups plus a cup and a half. The recipe, the original no, recipe doesn't say, the original recipe doesn't say plus a cup and a half. It's just, I find it quite sticky, so I just add a cup and a half. So you can always add, you know what I mean? So yeah, and I think it's gonna come out a bit better. Yeah, it feels so much better that I added that. My hand is sticky, that's why it's sticky, but it's much better that I added. Keep it rolling. Okay, so after you added that cup and a half, you you just roll it and feel it. It feels like very good dough. Now we're gonna put it into the big bowl that I showed you guys a few minutes ago. Okay, let's go. So now I'm gonna take the dough and add it into the bowl. I'm gonna mix it now. Okay. Oh. You just take everything off from here. And then we're gonna take go, go to the bowl. Daddy, I guess. Now we're gonna take the dough. As you see, we're gonna put it into the pipe. Put it in here. And you put this in here. And then we're gonna just put everything in here. Just take everything out of the machine that you're using. Make sure nothing doesn't stay. You could leave it, but you'll have less dough. Okay. Now we're gonna just knead it for a few minutes just to make it be soft. You could put a little bit of oil on your hands, so just that's what 
you do. So I'm just gonna get some oil. And yeah. So here we've got the oil. I put a little bit in my hand, just like this. And just put it on my hand, you see my hand oily. You rub it into the dough. You rub it into the dough. And I'm going to start kneading it. It feels a bit better when you do it. You know what I mean? Okay. You should knead it for a few minutes. Okay. So show your wings quickly. Chili my top. Chili my top. Okay. Okay, so after you kneaded it for a few minutes, after you kneaded the dough, we're gonna just put it into a circle. Just knead everything to the middle. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna leave it in the middle, in the center of the bowl. Okay, cover it with some towels. Shh. You're calling your mama a baby? You're calling your mama a baby? Daddy! Why? It's not on a video, it's on a video. You're calling your mama a baby? We! So now, after you covered it, the dough's in there. We're gonna cover it for like 45 minutes, and just every few minutes, you just check how it's rising. And after 45 minutes, you've got the dough. Good luck making it. I hope you understand how I said it. And yeah, bye. Good job, guys.